Good afternoon and welcome to TheEnclosure.ca. It is the afternoon of July 9th and we have just uh, had a, a successful inspection of uh, our stormwater uh, drainage piping as well as uh, some front yard uh, landscape uh, water and electrical uh, circuits. So I'm just going to document uh, what I've got here. Uh, both uh, for the web viewing audience as well as just in case I ever dig this up in the future I want to know what's uh, what we've got so starting with the the exit point uh, there was a lot of concern that the uh, stormwater connection to the the storm sewer of the district was not going to be low enough um, and while it is extremely shallow Fortunately, we had enough slope to still get to where we need to with the stormwater drains for the roof runoff. Uh, so basically, there's the clean out for the, uh, the municipal staff, and then we go into what's called the shallow well sump where all the stormwater uh, drains into and then is gravity fed out to the district. In this property, um, we are also going to be collecting uh, not the stormwater but the groundwater. Unlike roof runoff that has to be uh, uh, filtered because of the contaminants it washes off of the roof and also treated because of the organic growth that can happen, uh, groundwater which is collected around the perimeter drain is nice and clean and uh, filtered by the granular level or layer that uh, it flows through to get to the the uh, drain pipes and so in our case because we are so much lower than the stormwater sewer line uh, which most of the houses in the neighborhood are we have a deep well over there that goes down uh, approximately 17 and a half feet and then uh, that would typically get pumped up into the shallow sump that is here before being gravity fed to the uh, district sewer we instead are going to pump it up into a thousand gallon cistern where we will be able to keep water for use for all the exterior irrigation during the summer months when we typically have water restrictions. Uh, we're also going to, and that's the uh, pipe right there, it's a, a quarter inch line fed back to the house, we are going to feed the toilets and possibly the cold water of the uh, washing machine as long as the water quality checks out. I need to check for things like heavy metals and other contaminants uh, uh, that uh, might affect specifically the toilets because we do have pets, uh, namely cats, that drink out of the toilet from time to time. Uh, so over that way we've got a uh, three inch line that extends beyond this uh, Y and uh, feeds into uh, the wall assembly and behind and will capture the lower front roofs. The uh, little uh, Y takeoff and upright that is going to be a lineal drain in front of the garage door. Then we have, uh, coming out of the cistern, we've got the overflow that then goes into the uh, gravity uh, feed sump to the, the district sewer. The black uh, pipe here is a solid core ABS and the reason it's a different material is because of its proximity to the driveway and the need for a stronger uh, uh, wall thickness to support the loads. And then we've got a four inch uh, perforated pipe down at the bottom of the sump. And many would say, well, that's lower than the, the uh, invert for the storm sewer um, outtake. And yes, it is. And the reason for that is this whole front yard area uh, under the driveway is going to be a uh, dry well cistern. 
and so it's going to be gravel and to a certain extent it already is there's gravel that goes down about halfway down this bank and then uh, boulders and stuff inside there the water will build up in this this dry well sump and then just percolate back into the soil and this will reduce the amount of water that we're putting into the municipal storm sewer and just keep it uh, on uh, property which is something that's being encouraged uh, as the water level rises and the head pressure increases it will basically feed back into the sump and start raising up in the sump until it feeds out the the outtake and you can see the outtake has a, a uh, sanitation tee on it uh, with uh, um, a stub that goes down and it clean out on the end and that prevents leaves and uh, whatnot from flowing into the storm sewer and remaining in the sump. Uh, we still have to grout around all of these uh, uh, these uh, inverts uh, which will be done later on. The last hole here is going to be a four inch PVC that will go over to the south side of the house and catch the uh, upper south roof and the uh, the ABS here will convert back to PVC and go down the north elevation to catch the north upper roof. Then we've also got uh, some uh, electrical and front yard plumbing so coming out from the house we've got uh, two three quarter and one half inch conduit. The one of the three quarters branches over and comes up to here and is going to provide power for the pump that's going to go in the cistern as well as the landscaping that's going to be on the south side of the driveway. Uh, the half inch is going to provide the sprinkler, the underground sprinkler control wires. We then have a half inch coming from this location flowing off back to that side and there's going to be a, a valve box over in that location. So the wires will come from the house over to this side and then continue on for that valve box as well. The other line there is a three quarter inch power for the north of driveway gardens for the landscape lighting and it goes back to the house. Then we've got a uh, line a three quarter inch water line coming from the cistern area it will provide cistern water over to the north of uh, driveway irrigation as well as a takeoff to the neighbor's yard so that they can water all of their plants during the summer watering restrictions and then the last pipe you see there is a one inch line that stops approximately there, there the the water line to the house is going to sort of come through at that angle and so that is going to be a tie-in to the main potable water coming back to the cistern area just in case something did happen to the cistern and we weren't able to use that water I still have then a water line that I can tie in and feed all of the irrigation and that will uh, where it ties in will require a double backflow preventer uh, check valve style so that the the, the non-potable water never has a chance of getting into the potable supply. So that uh, is it for now. Uh, we've had our plumbing and electrical inspections today. Now I'm just waiting for an engineering inspection to sign off the uh, gray pipe which is the, the pressure pipe for the duplex uh, deep well sump pump up that does require engineering oversight and schedules of assurance and uh, engineering inspections. Okay, talk to you later. Thanks for visiting. So just a little bit of an adder. Uh, I now have the uh, line in that's going to the southeast corner of the house and uh, the one inch uh, line that will go from the cistern to the rear yard and to uh, my neighbor Anna's uh, property for uh, water supply. Uh, pretty straightforward dig uh, except uh, in this area um, right about there is the 200 amp uh, power cable so the water line goes under the power cable 
and the uh, four inch uh, drain goes above and then we've got our uh, telephone uh, cable um, conduit as well that's there so uh, we will continue down this side of the house uh, that will be done by some labor that I'm hiring okay thank you